Yo, what's good, y'all? Chase Sandy here, and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys another GPO tier list video. Now, the last tier list that I did was about, I think, a month ago. Yeah, a month ago. So it was my best two sorts style plus fruit tier list. And so, pretty much in that video, I just went over all the fruits and just pretty much paired them up with two sorts style and just gave my opinion on which one I thought was the best with two sorts style. And I also did this with Black Lake a few months ago as well, three months ago. I also did that. So, if you guys would like me to do, you know, like, a fishman tier list another two source style tier list since you know of course two source style has geppo now all fighting styles have geppo so if you guys would like me to do that let me know in the comments down below i am thinking about doing a fighting style tier list once again since you know of course uh, all of the fighting styles have geppo on them now if you have any video ideas or suggestions on gpo or whatever let me know in the comments down below but before we officially dive into the video i just want to say if you guys are new to the channel and you are concerned subscribing make sure to subscribe as well as turn on that bell so you guys stay notified for Whenever I upload my next video, we are very, very close to 8,000 subscribers. So if you guys could subscribe, it really mean a lot to me. And if you enjoyed today's video and you found it helpful, make sure to leave a like. And this is all my opinion, by the way. I just want to get that, you know, clarified. This is all my opinion. And this is going over all of the fruits and just viewing them overall in terms of PvP and PvE and stuff. And so if a fruit is above another fruit, I just want to say that if there is one fruit that is above another fruit, then it does not mean that it is entirely, you know, better yes in some cases it is you know because it's just a clear day and night difference but is some fruits it, like if a fruit is above like let's say gura is above here you know in my opinion i really feel like that both fruits are very very good for pvp you know but gura may be better than here because of the pve aspect and stuff and it's just like they're really really both good fruits and stuff and it's just like you guys get the point but anyway uh yeah that's gonna be it without further ado let's hop straight into the video All right, so here we are, and I'm going to try and keep this, you know, short and sweet to the point. So I'm going to just pretty much add all the fruits into the sections that I'm going to be going over and stuff. So yeah, um, first things first, though, we have Kilo and Suke in the Avoid section. Now, in the Avoid category, of course, you know, Kilo and Suke is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, Kilo is way better than Suke uh, for PvP and PvE. It's it's pretty solid in terms of, like, trash, if that makes sense. Um, Suke is just Suke. We all know this. Um, Yeah there's really nothing else to say the starter fruits category now these fruits i really feel like that a lot of players should focus on when starting the game reason why it's called starter fruits and i may make a noob guide soon you know kind of like talking about things you need to focus on fruits you need to focus on or just what your overall goal is to you know focus on and stuff so if you guys would like to see that i'm not 100 sure if i am going to do it but if you guys would like to see that you know, let me know in the comments down below but for the starter fruits we have spin gum hodo bari marrow and bamu so like i said in the beginning of the video you know just because a fruit is higher than another fruit doesn't mean it is entirely you know better in some cases it is but you know it's just in my opinion i really do feel like that bamu is way better than marrow and a lot of people can see this and a lot of people may not in terms of pvp bamu is really solid and marrow is a lot better in terms of pvp than bamu but bamu is a lot stronger because it is a all-around fruit it is the best rare fruit in the game in my opinion because it's able to do dungeons very efficiently it's able to pvp really efficiently and just pve overall and it's so it's like a very well-rounded fruit and you, honestly you can't go wrong eating this if you're starting the game out now with marrow marrow is very great for pvp it is really really good it's the best fruit for pvp but in terms of pve it is pretty weak so that is why i have bamu above marrow and marrow below bamu because marrow is very strong yes in pvp but bamu just really kind of overshadows shadows marrow because marrow is only good for pvp and that's really it. it can pve but it's not really recommended it's kind of just pointless in a way next up we have hodo and so hodo is really really solid for pvp it's it used to be very great if anything this if hodo never got fixed or patched or whatever hodo would be probably the best rare fruit in the game but since they fix everything you know they fix the hodo methods and stuff in dungeons and stuff hodo is only good for pvp and so pve it probably still can do 
do some things, but it's not as great as it used to be. But Odo is pretty decent. Next up, we have Bari. And so Bari is only good for its defensive properties. Like the defense on Bari is just really, really great. Um, In terms of PvP, is it's pretty solid. It's not great, but it's also not bad. It's just if, if you just want to have some fun and just mess around, then Bari is the fruit. In terms of PvE, it is not that great at all. <laughs> in my opinion, it is not great. I, like I said, the only good thing is that its defense can really help in some situations but overall it's just you're really not going to find yourself or find many people with bari next up we have gum and so gum is pretty solid for pvp it's not the greatest uh, rare fruit for pvp you know but it's it's pretty solid and for pve it is also not that bad either you may be able to solo dungeons but i don't think you can since the gomu scaling on gatlin did get nerfed and changed it was a while ago but it's pretty much like think of bomb except kind of scaled down like two notches you know and it's just it, it gum is it's pretty solid overall but it's not that great but yeah and next up we have spin and spin in my opinion i feel like is way better than kilo and suke because of the fact that it is very very good for pvp and you could argue that kilo could switch places with spin you know that is honestly up to you guys but in my opinion i really do feel like that spin is way better than kilo and suke because pvp is honestly spin is really solid and in terms of pve i don't think it is that great but it's it's pretty much it's just you can't go wrong eating spin honestly and it is a common fruit so it's a pretty solid starter fruit if you want to you know kind of get a feel for pvp and stuff but uh yeah next up we have the pvp and pve focus fruit section so for pve focus we're going to go ahead and put pika there and then we are going to put in pvp focus we're going to put ito we're going to put gura goro kie and zushi you guys can honestly tell where these four fruits are going as well but you might be wondering you know why do i have pika alone in pve focus you know i could place some other fruits right here like maybe mara or maybe anything you know or why isn't you know suna in pvp focus or not well let me explain so pve focus pika a lot of people argue that pika is really good for pvp and in my opinion pika is pretty trash for pvp and yes you can argue that the fruit has been nerfed in the crown and it kind of has but a lot of it's just really a easy fruit to perfect block in terms of pve though this is the best fruit in my opinion for pve because it honestly is very great for doing regular dungeons cupid dungeons especially in cupid dungeons cupid dungeons it is amazing using pika and overall it's just it's a pve for you cannot go wrong with this if you want to grind the game if you want to grind for more fruits and stuff it's just this is honestly an amazing fruit for pve now pvp we have ito goro gura zushi and hie so i guess you can say that this is an order but this is just kind of like they're all really in the sense they're in the same category i'm not gonna consider them ordered because you can order it however you would like but i really do feel like that ito is probably the strongest besides goro it is the strongest pvp focus type fruit because ito is just pretty brain dead <laughs> same thing for goro these two fruits are pretty brain dead and pretty strong if not the strongest pvp fruits in the game and honestly you can't go wrong eating them you know if you would like to really focus on pvp you know you can look at ito you can look at goro ie gura and zushi now these fruits can i would say that hie gura and zushi can somewhat pve and goro ito i just feel like cannot do anything pve related at all but these four fruits can pve a bit in my opinion but it is just not really something great to consider and i guess you can say you know that ito would probably be the weakest if it was overall like just if this category was a different name or whatever because i really do feel like that you know if you would like to have pvp focused type fruits you know then you know you could look at these you know because they do have some you know possibility of being able to do pve especially these four fruits ito i'm not 100 percent sure it could but i don't think so so you could honestly place ito lower but in my opinion i would place it higher if not the best pvp fruit but yeah these fruits are honestly really solid i've probably said it a lot and i am sorry but these fruits are really solid in terms of pvp and pve like i said these four fruits are pretty decent you know they are able to do some stuff solo they might be able to do dungeon solo gura can do uh, dungeon solo i know he can i'm not 100 sure if goro or zushi can i'm pretty sure they can but i am not 100 sure but anyways you might must have fruit so we have tori magu mara and suna and so you can order this honestly you can say that this is an order i don't really care i just kind of have these placed wherever but these fruits are must have fruits that i really do feel like that if you want to have the best of both worlds then consider you know eating suna tori magu or mara mara and magu tori as well are fruits that you can honestly have fruit builds and still pvp with them their damage and just pretty much their overall ability like 
Chimera is just very annoying. Like overall, the fruit is just very annoying. Same thing for Magu. Magu is just really broken for no reason. Now, Suna, in my opinion, is one of the best fruits in the game overall. Now, a lot of people probably would say this is an unpopular opinion that I think that Suna is one of the best fruits. And you could argue that Suna is weaker than most fruits in the game. But just because, you know, the, I guess, cast time on Sandstorm increased and the damage got limited and Mr. Colors doesn't block break no more does not mean that it is a bad fruit. I am still able to do dungeons very efficiently with Suna. I am still able to do Cupid Dungeon solo pretty efficiently. And I am also able to do PvP really, really well with Suna. And it's just overall, it is a great fruit to have. And I really feel like that is all. I didn't want to kind of just kind of ramble on about the same thing. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and kind of understood what, you know, I was trying to say on all of these fruits and stuff. If you have a different opinion and you want to comment them down below, feel free to, but do not be all aggressive and just all caps, you know, oh, you suck. This tier list sucks because you didn't put my favorite fruit in this tier. Everyone has their own opinions and I respect it, you know, but I don't mind debating, you know, as long as you're respectful and stuff. As long as you're respectful, I won't mind, you know, you guys saying that, you know, I respectfully disagree with your tier list and stuff. This is where I would put it because of this. I, I won't mind, you know, but if you just, like I said, all caps and just say, oh, this and that, then it's just, <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. But anyways, like I said, let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. And once again, make sure to subscribe. And uh, yeah, it's been Chase Center, guys. I'm out. Smoking in the rain again. I think about what's holding up this flame again. And it ain't like the way it was. Now it's just shades of us. Shades of us. Smoking in the rain again. Remind me what is holding up this flame again. And it ain't like the way it was. Now we're just shades of us. Shades.